what, what the mate is talking about. What's up, family? Over the weekend, Floyd Mayweather's 19-year-old daughter, Ayanna Mayweather, was involved in an altercation where she ended up stabbing a woman. Police put the cuffs on her, and Ayanna appeared in court today via teleconference to plead not guilty to the charge of felony aggravated assault with a deadly weapon. Backstory. Reports are that Ayanna showed up at NBA Young Boy's house in Houston and she confronted his baby mother, one of his baby mothers. She told her, hey, I'm his fiance, you need to leave. The woman refused to leave and an argument ensued at some point the woman was stabbed by Ayanna Mayweather, who pleaded not guilty. Now, it's important to note that while these are very serious charges, Ayanna got some very serious representation. Ken Schaefer, he's one of the best in Houston one of the best in the country. And if he's taking on your case, you got a shot. Now, he's going to have to do some hell of a fighting because you know how it go. Prosecutors love these type of cases. This is one of those sensationalized cases. You got the daughter of one of the greatest fighters to ever live in court on a felony charge of aggravated assault with a deadly weapon. The young lady that she stabbed is still in critical condition from what I understand. She had better hope that girl pulls through because if she don't, y'all know how that goes. Here's the thing that I'm thinking when I first heard about this. Why? Why, why, why? She got everything going for her. The girl is only 19 years old. She got the look. She got education. She has access. She's grew up with a silver spoon. Why? Why act like just a regular person on the streets? You got goons for that type of stuff. Well, you got security. I got to say security, can't say goons. You got security, hired security, professional security for that type of stuff. You know? I just don't understand. I just don't understand like putting your life in jeopardy, putting your freedom in jeopardy for something like that. And then, especially now you gotta have, you gotta have people looking at you like, you did that for a dude? Oh, a dude? No dude is worth it. No woman is worth it. Not to me. If you gotta do all of that, then something is wrong with that relationship. And something is wrong with that person. Because that situation should have been resolved by him. It should have never come to blows. First of all, two of those two women should have never ended up in that house. If they are rivals, they should have never been in the same space. That falls on the youngster. He's supposed to handle that. A lot of times when these women are fighting and carrying on and all this stuff and they can't get along, these baby mamas and new girlfriends, they can't get along. It is because the dude is not doing something he's supposed to be doing. He could handle that. A lot of times, some of these dudes are too weak to handle it. It just is what it is. And then some dudes like the drama. They think it's actually appealing 
to have women fighting over them. And some dudes think it's funny. Actually, it's amusing to them. Just like it's amusing to some women to have dudes fight over them. You know, you, sometimes some women consider it a badge of honor if a dude get killed. And then, because you, you know people are going to say, oh, God, she got that bomb. You know what I'm saying? Because, man, she had a nigga killed over her, man. Yeah, that fool killed that fool over her, you know? Some people get off to stuff like that. Sad to see. But we know a daddy sitting on that bread. And he's taking the first step in making sure that uh, his daughter comes home and don't have to serve a lengthy uh, prison sentence. But it's going to take more than just that act. It's going to take a lot on her behalf to calm herself down and fall back and, you know, protect herself, protect her freedom, uh, protect her peace of mind. You know, perhaps that ain't the relationship. I don't know. Maybe I'm reading it wrong. What do y'all say? Drop a comment. No more talk. What the ladies talking about? Yeah.